Hey guys, welcome to Mindset You Podcast. Today we're going to dive into communication. What is it and how do we find it is most useful? Moses doesn't believe in it at all. He just stays quiet and thinks he sent good messages. While Jay wants to be understanding and question all the things. And I just want digital communication. That's it. I don't think you have to listen to the podcast. I just told you everything. All right, so... What is, let's, let's first define it. What is, what is good communication? So I think, I, I think good communication is we have people in this wonderful podcast, this group right here, that if we all combine our powers together, we'd have great communication. But I feel like I'm the one who likes to, to talk. You guys do the one you guys like to use the internet. And use the calendar, and that's your way of communicating. And I'm not used to using the calendar. Just you guys are the reason why I even know what a Google Calendar is. Um, even at the house, we don't have a Google Calendar. I have a calendar on the fridge that tells me <laughs> what I need to know. <laughs> and I still have to ask Ashley, <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Maybe it's because I don't know how to read fully. I don't know. That's not. That's not true. <laughs> You got a degree in like uh what do you got a degree in like art? Literally a literally a degree in communications. Communications. <laughs> literally a degree in communication. Um but yeah. Yeah. Um, How about you, Mo? What is good communication? Mm -hmm. Uh to me, good communication is when you move information from point A to point B and it gets a yielded outcome, like whatever it is that you want. Which I think it's it gets done. I don't think our communication is bad. It's annoying it's bad because you're, we're waiting and we're kind of like misaligned, and it's like. But at the same time, I'm like, it's like the priority of where the podcast lands in terms of what type of value does it bring into my life personally in this perspective is low on the totem pole. You hear so, that, listeners? Name, All nine of you? You don't sorry, have shit. Sorry, guys. Yeah, you guys, you guys are important, but it's like on it's like last on my mind right now. Uh, you know, I don't have a kitchen to fucking wash dishes and uh eat food. So yes, yeah. Uh that's why you guys are last. Uh and that's why you get a thumbs up or a yes on a calendar, and I still show up for you. Um all right. Mo, when this comes out, I just want you to watch Rance's face as you said that. I haven't seen his eyes get that big that's, in a very long time. That's all right. That's all right. Like, listen, this this is mindset. You, we we tell the truth. I tell you exactly my moment. I'm vulnerable. That's what this is about. And I'm not trying to save face because this ain't a fucking corporate company, and I ain't doing that corporate <laughs> bullshit here. So you're gonna get the real me on this podcast. Either I'm gonna be nice and happy, and I'm gonna talk shit. Or I'm going to be a Republican. <laughs> today, I feel like being a Republican. I was just about to say, I was like, are we on the Republican side today? Because I'm excited. Yes, you get the Republican side. <laughs> All right. All right. And Rancis, you're last. What does communication mean to you? Um, good communication is when the intention of the information is received by the recipient. So to me, it's really communication is being able to transfer over intention. Word. <laughs> both, of you with, both of you with your fucking scientific politician answers. Um, yeah, I guess that is the textbook definition of communication when you... S I'm, I'm not going for, for like a textbook. I'm, I'm going for like... When when I see when I talking about communicating, if like I'm talking to a, a crowd of people, I'm talking to you individuals. We're trying to set up a, a time for this. My thing is like, it's not about the words I say or or how you know what form I send them through. It's about that my priority is that my intention of what I want is transferred. That's what matters. Mm -hmm. So I can communicate through calendar, through text, through call whatever but it doesn't matter what matters what makes it good is the intention is being passed over but what happens if the intention is not understood well then that's poor communication 
So but we, is it part of communication, we, 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 even though that your attempts in communicating in any form of expression, like you gave it your 100%, but still it doesn't get understood? I think that's that's a beautiful question. And the reason why I still stand by what I said is because when you take full responsibility of the message being presented accurately across, you're going to continue to look for, okay, this didn't land. Let me, let me adjust. Let me adjust. The moment that you say, Hey, I, I tried everything. You're not getting it. I feel like that's the moment where that is poor communication. That is to me, that's the definition of poor communication. We're not in alignment. We're not understanding each other. So how do you know the difference between poor like communication and poor listening? So again, this goes into that responsibility standpoint where regardless if you're a good listener or not, like, and this goes into like content creation, right? Where we can have a solid, great message. This is, this is what the key to you, all your problems. But as content creators, our responsibility is to entertain you and engage you enough so that you can get the message. So to me, poor listening skills or whatever, that's, that's neither here nor there when it comes to you being the owner of, of the communication. And if we both in a, in a back and forth with this, with that intention, then we're going to make sure we're, we're understanding the listener is going to be asking questions to understand more. And the, the, when delivering their information is going to be try it in different ways and present it in different formats. Mm. Mm. <laughs> hey, did you understand that? Yes. What is it? What is it about the way I'm speaking today <laughs> that is not working? So is I can learn how to better communicate. Is it today? Like, has it been your whole day has been that? Or just now? Just now. Did I mean, before oh, okay. right. I said well, something yeah. before and, and Jay was like, okay. I just feel like you use a lot of words to say, I said what I said. And if you don't get that. I, I think I think I, I agree with Rancis in the sense that there is this there is intention is part of it. I believe intention is, is a part of it. Uh, and I think that's on the responsibility of the person who is delivering a message. I think part of good communication is that you're creating clarity between one or more parties, right? More than one party. And what I mean by that is that you're not leaving anything to an assumption. So in our case with this podcast, right, uh, poor communication is that we aren't we aren't saying anything or we're communicating through different modes, which leaves things to assumptions, mm -hmm. which then doesn't allow for clarity to occur, which then kind of gets people frustrated because it's like, uh, are we doing this or not? Um, and I think that's really like the main thing. So when you think about it, it's like intention, what are we trying to achieve? What's the outcome that we're, we're desi we desire? Um, are we leaving things up to assumption, meaning that we communicate all the things that needed to be communicated in order to achieve that outcome? And do we agree on that thing, how we're doing that? And that's that's really it. So it doesn't matter how you say it, but yeah. yeah there you go. That makes sense. Thanks. Yeah. It's like 15 years of teaching, so. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I don't think that like, I think when I ask, like, oh, it's like the podcast still going, it's not an assumption. It's just going, oh, should I rush to make sure that I'm ready? Or is this going to be moved again? You know, it's never like a, oh, like, these guys don't communicate. I laugh and joke about it. But I never, like, I'm not like, mm, like, they're poor communicators. It's just more, you guys are used to doing things one way. I'm not used to doing it that way. So I just ask questions instead of looking at the calendar i forget that i have a calendar and then you go oh no it's in the calendar go, oh yeah it's that thing that's all the way when i have to swipe six pages back on my phone that's where that calendar is <clears throat> got it you know you could put a widget on your uh screen and remember how you up. said that this podcast isn't as important to you this podcast is relatively important to me but that calendar is not important to me. No, no, so no, it stays no. on page six. It's lower on the priority list. It's okay, on. No, a okay, I was taking an exaggerated if, point of view. 
Yeah, yeah. If 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 something is important, it doesn't go on the priority list. It's on the priority list. Yeah, okay. So let me so put it this way. Important. The calendar is extremely low on my on my <laughs> priority list. <laughs> Good. And instead of oh, oh oh, we have a group chat. Let me ask the two people that are in the group chat what their thoughts are on this. And then hopefully I get an answer. Or even a hey, check the calendar. And when he said, Hey, I put on the calendar, I go, oh shit, he did. Look at that. And that was the end of it. So I'm assuming that you don't check your emails if you don't check the calendar. Oh, dude, you should see the amount of emails I have. Let me hold it. Let me go look up how many emails I have right now. Not work wise. Work wise, I'm pretty good because I have no choice to be. But personal email. I can't. We are currently at. I'm no good. How many? In fact, I'm so bad at emails, but my wife is so OCD about it that she grabs my phone every weekend and goes deleting my emails. You ready? She deletes. Go ahead. 150,000. <laughs> 624. Unread? Unread. That's impressive. Yeah. If it's important, if it's important, I'll get a voicemail. I have five unread. But you see, on my personal, I have zero unread. I read all my emails for, I mean, for work. I take care of that, but. So wait, where's the 150,000 from? My personal. Oh, your personal. Yeah. Okay. So your work, your your email. But this is like my personal. Oh, okay. Well, it's my everything. It's, Got it. Yeah. yeah. No, I have my work one, and then I have my like my personal one that, you know, everything gets texted to my phone. If it's like bank wise or anything like that, I usually get texted. You, you don't. You don't. You don't like, like getting rid of the red bubble. On I, your ignore it. I ignore it like most problems oh in my, my life. I just, God, bro, I just like my good. feelings. I just depress them and I just put that, it all the way down there and I go out. Ah, yes, yeah, that's, that's hilarious. That goes with the calendar. It's, it's the same thing with Paola and, and my kids. Whenever they look at my phone, I have so many notifications and everything that the, it drives them crazy. Yeah. It, it really does nothing to me. I, look at They all have I, little <laughs> bubbles. That is, that is so crazy, man. And then the, the, these are yeah. all the notifications. Well, I, you know, I know that from the fact that the way that you keep your tabs open on your computer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's insane to me. I, I like I don't understand how anybody can function like that. But that's look, extreme uh, cognitive overload, man. That's that's right? a lot. Yeah. yeah. I, I think it's though. the opposite. <laughs> but it's different strokes for different folks, right? Because like what works for one person might not work for the other person. It's kind of like relationships, right? You know, I can order cheese for Ashley. Paula can't order cheese for you because you'll think that you guys are going to have a divorce. <laughs> you know, so there's just things that we do in our relationships that work for others and don't work for some, you know. That too is funny. Paula's like, I'm my own human being. All right. I order whatever I want. <laughs> I'm like, that's the point. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Hey guys, if you're enjoying this podcast, please subscribe, like below, comment, let us know your thoughts and continue to enjoy. All right. So is there anything else on communication? Like, are, are we aligned? How do you, oh, oh, real quick, just so that we get, just so that we cover communication, what's communication like with your partners? Like, do you guys do like Google calendars for like, for your shit or like, how do you guys know? what you guys got going on for like the weekend and just for me, a hundred percent calendar, right? Like my kids can't come talk to me. If they haven't put it in the calendar. <laughs> Ranch just got out of office <laughs> <laughs> fucking messages for his kids. So <laughs> uh, right now I can tell you that it's like all over the place. It's just, yeah, it's, there's no, imagine, yeah. It's just wild. Yeah. yeah. So I there's, still have to ask uh, Marina about Saturday. <laughs> yeah. I feel like there's like so many moving pieces with, you know, with the house and stuff like that and traveling for work. Do, have you guys been traveling a lot for work lately or has it been more just at the office? I live, I live like 10 minutes away from where I work. Yeah. So it's not bad. 
so that's not bad. For me, I travel every maybe every two weeks. I'm traveling. Yeah. How do you like traveling? Uh, I don't like it. No. That goes no. to my next question is, what is communication like when you're away? That's the thing. Paula and I are, like, obsessed with each other. Yeah. <laughs> like, even when I'm at home working and she's in the living room, like, we're, like, just, like, constantly trying to be by each other. Mm -hmm. When she has to go to center and, I, and I'm home, She's calling me on on the way. She's like, "I miss you." <laughs> like, we're still that gay. <laughs> um, that's cute, though. That's good, man. Um, so when you know when I'm traveling, that's that's the hardest part. That's the part that I don't like about it. Um, yeah. You know, or we're on the phone, falling asleep on the phone and stuff like that. Video chatting, so I can watch, you know, with them whatever they're watching and stuff like that's that. That's cute. Speak of the devil. Hi, I'm gonna go get my nail done. Okay. <laughs> yeah because i have to assume like because you went from a, a job where you're, you didn't really travel all that often to now that you're on the road essentially like you said every other week that's a big change mm -hmm. especially for you know how things are handled at home especially when you have kids yeah you know so and, i feel like communication and the, gets real important and that that's like right now paula just came in to tell me that she's she's going out to to get her nail done yeah. i think in in terms of my relationship that's a huge part because we have so many ways to to like communicate with each other yeah and it's like we know where each other are, is any moment because obviously we communicate it because it's on the calendar because we have gps of each other like all those things um but it's like that's that's the 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 level of understanding that we have of each other, you know. That we feel that safe to be seen that constantly by each other, you know, yeah. and that's that's home. That's home for me, you know. That's awesome. We oh, oh, how about, how looking about off you, into you? space right now. What the fuck? I no, it's my finish? my uh. <laughs> my, guys i have i have three screens i so, know but you were in the middle of talking and then you just started looking off into the abyss like you're recharging <laughs> <laughs> do you do you and marina communicate a lot mo do we communicate a lot yeah or do you do you treat our whatsapp yeah. or do you communicate with marina like how you communicate with the whatsapp no we we're always together like yeah. in it's basically like work home. Like while we're at work, we don't really talk much. I don't really have a much, much time to yeah. to speak or like text. I was never really like a big texter. Mm -hmm. I don't really like, even when like to work with Rancis, you, you guys know, I send like one word text in the WhatsApp group. Like I'm not on my phone doing that shit. Yeah. Uh, but when we're home, yeah, we're, we're together all the time. Yeah. And then on the weekends, we're basically attached by the hip and we just, work on projects and do things together that's awesome yeah i think it's it's really important uh especially with relationships communication um i'm the same with you guys when it comes to ash i'm obsessed with that fucking little skinny bitch um that's my homie um you know we we talk all day long work is you know like how you said mo it's a little bit like how it is with work she's usually she's at the hospital so it's a lot harder to communicate while we're at work but like i usually get like a I know, I know she's having a hard day if I don't get like a text or like a, or Instagram message on her lunch break. Mm. Like that's how I can, that's how I can gauge how she's going to come home. Like what mood she's mm. going to be in when she comes home. Ow, excuse me. What mood she's going to be in when she comes home is if I don't get that, that lunch text to be like, oh, things are going great. Cause I know if I don't get that thing, I don't have to be like, what do you, what are we ordering out? Like, what are we doing? What do you want to, what do you want to watch on TV tonight? Like. I know to walk on eggshells. <laughs> um, but no, it's super important. It's one of the first times ever in my life where when it comes to my partner that like I want to be in constant communication. There's never been like a, I need my space. You know, there's sometimes I'm like, can I just play video games in the other room? I'll keep the door open. 
you know but it's not for the sake of that i don't want to be next to her it's just that, like do you really want to watch me play fucking ufc 5 for the next hour and a half while you fall asleep and you complain about the clickety clacks next to you in bed what's the what's the what's the takeaway here communication is important guys um whether it's through calendars whether it's through words of affirmation i'm going hey the podcast is going to be on wednesday at six just a simple three words really goes a long way um with that said guys don't forget to like subscribe and find us anywhere you can find a podcast whether it's youtube apple Podcasts, spotify Google Music. I always forget that one. Google Music and VitaProject.com. Uh, YouTube, YouTube Music. Oh, sorry. YouTube Music. There you go. I was going to let him um, go. So. Google Music. Oh, wait. Google Music isn't a thing anymore. Is that gone? I don't think it ever existed. Oh, Was never there? mind. I created my own thing. Guys, get on that. Um, yeah, that's it for this podcast. And uh, take away what you want from it.